Hello, my friends. We're going to do a introduction on how to practice primordial sound meditation. Primordial sound meditation is an ancient yogic Vedic mantra based meditation technique. It is based upon 108 primordial sounds that correspond to the moment and the place where you were born. It is the sound, the mantra, a vibration, a frequency of that moment. So we tune into that. It's that vibration that carried us from the unmanifest realm of spirit to the manifest realm of our existence here in a body and on earth. So when we meditate, we're using that as a vehicle. A mantra means mind vehicle to lead us back. Um, what I want to really, really, really stress is that meditation and the mantra is not about effort. It's not concentration. It's not even about focus. Let all of that go. Don't worry about emptying your mind. Don't worry about stopping thoughts. You're going to sit comfortably, relaxed. You can sit in a chair, a straight back chair. You can sit on the edge of your bed. You can sit in a cross-legged, easy position if you want. But let's just do a chair, nice and comfortable. Your back supported. You don't need to be straight and rigid. You just want to be relaxed. Hands, palms open on your lap. Or you can do the chin mudra, fingers touching that OK sign on your lap. Or you can have palms down on your lap. You just want to be relaxed. You want to be comfortable. We're going to meditate for 15 to 20 minutes twice a day. And as you sit, as you relax, let going all concepts and thoughts and beliefs that you have about meditation, follow the breath just for a minute, in and out. And all you're doing is noticing. You're not doing any special breath work. You're not trying to uh, focus on the breath. You're just noticing breath going in, breath going out. After a minute, think the mantra. The mantra is has no rhythm, no cadence, no how many times am I supposed to say it. Don't worry about thoughts. Four things can happen during meditation. You can be thinking your mantra. Perfect. You can be having thoughts, everyday thoughts, mundane thoughts. Important thoughts. You could be having thoughts. Perfect. You could fall asleep. It happens. Perfect. If you do fall asleep, when you wake up, just start thinking your mantra again. Don't worry about it. Don't punish yourself. Don't get upset. When you have thoughts, don't worry about it. Don't get upset. Don't punish yourself. Just go back to thinking the mantra. Thinking it gently. Not concentrating on it. The fourth thing is you can slip into the gap. And the gap is that ever-present space. It's spaciousness itself. That is between every thought and the mantra. And you fall into it effortlessly without even knowing. You won't even know that you fell into the gap until you come out of the gap. And you think, well, something happened there. I don't know exactly what, but something happened. Because the gap is pure silence. It's who we truly are. It is non-conceptual, beyond concepts, beyond the concept of a concept. So relax. You can't do it wrong. What you're going to find is you're going to think, you're going to sit, you're going to think the mantra, and then you're going to have all kinds of thoughts. Am I doing it right? Um, am I supposed to be thinking about this? Shoot, I'm supposed to be thinking of the mantra. And then you'll come back to thinking the mantra. Perfect. If you only thought the mantra once during the entire meditation, Absolutely fine. Don't worry about it. Relax. When you remember, you think the mantra. Without any cadence, without any thought of repetition, without any um, rhythm. You're just thinking it. Don't use the mantra to chase away other thoughts. If you're having a thought, just have a thought. And then think the mantra. Effortlessly, easily, 
and let it lead you gently into that gap. And you'll notice the gap more often. You'll sink into it. You'll be relaxed. Four things can happen. Any of those four things, you're doing okay. Keep that in mind. Keep this video in mind. And I will see you guys in the gap. The next video coming right up. We're gonna I'm gonna show you how to use your personal mantra. So it's gonna be a separate video for each one of you who has asked me for a mantra. Um, don't share it with anyone. Keep the mantra a secret. There's power in silence. It's not that it's bad to share it or to speak it out loud. It's that you want to keep it sacred. One more point. Have a spot where you meditate every day. Meditate in the morning before things get busy. As soon as you get up, use the bathroom, sit and meditate. And I like to meditate before dinner. I like to have it done. Relax. It also helps with uh, rest and digestion. You can do it after dinner, maybe wait half an hour after a meal. Not because it's going to cause cramps, um, but you don't want energy taken. Digestion will take energy from your meditation. You're cultivating energy. So, what to expect from meditation? Don't expect anything. Just meditate and then let it unfold. After you meditate, we're going to do four intentions. And you can have another one if you want. You can write this down. We're going to say, joyful, energetic body, loving, compassionate heart, alert, reflective mind, lightness of being. These are four intentions. In Sanskrit, it's called samkalpa, which means intention. After you meditate, you're still in that gap. You're very receptive. You are entering those intentions and they will act throughout your life. You can enter another one if you want, a personal one. Do you need inspiration? Do you need um, whatever? Enter it in to allow it to manifest in your life. This is the key to manifestation. Enter an attention within the infinite gap, who you are, the infinite gap, the infinite space of potentiality. Anything can happen there. You need proof. That's where the universe emerged from. So, any questions, let me know. Reach out, guys. Take care.